Hello everyone, I am Manny Schaefer and welcome to my channel. On this channel we're going to do some designing in Carbide Create for the Shipoko CNC. So if that's what you like to see, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you can get notified when I upload a new video. So with that, Today we are going to go with a basic popular design. We're going to make an American flag which we're going to use in future projects. So we can go here, we can go to Google and we can search American flag clip art. Search for images. Now this one is good. Or is it? Yes. So we'll save that. Right click. Save image as. Save it to the desktop. Okay. Now we need to convert that. So we're going to go go here, this website png to svg.com. Just go to the bottom here. Drag and drop, choose a file, go to our desktop, find the file we just downloaded, there it is, open that up, colors, we only need two colors, and generate. And wait. <laughs> and there we have our file. Download the SVG to our desktop. Image to vector. Save. Now we go to Carbide Create. Now this flag is going to be 11 and a quarter by 21 so the height is 11.25 and the width is going to be 21 inches the stock is three quarters inches thick softwood and Chipoco XXL is what what I have and the retract height 0.2 click OK Come over here, the import, and we find our file on the desktop. Here, image to vector. Group the elements, done. Now we're going to size it. Grab a corner and drag. Now we don't need this outside border, so we're going to get rid of that. We ungroup it, click that, backspace, and it's gone. Now we select everything, group it, resize it. up right about there now what we need to do is we need to convert these 
spaces here into blocks by themselves. This one, this one, and this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and grab the polyline tool. We're going to click on the node in the corner, go all the way to the end, click that node, come straight down, click that node, come all the way over to the net, this corner node, click that one, and then come up here and close it. Now we do the same for this one, this box here, this box here, this space, this space, and this space. Wait a minute. Yeah, this space, this space, this space. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we need to resize this properly. Bring this down. Okay. Just like so. All right. Now. Grab the polyline, and now we're going to do this one. Click that node, that node, that node, that node, and then close it on that node. Deselect, select the polyline again, start at this node. Come here to this node, come down to that node, cross over to this node, and close it on that node. Okay, then we deselect it. Then we choose this. We ungroup it. Deselect. Now just select this one and delete it with the backspace. Oh, looks like I had two. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the polyline. We're going to come up here to this node here, cross to this node, then this node, all the way across to this node, and close it again here. Now we're going to position this one up here. That is the going to be the the white stripe Bring that up a little bit there all right right there okay now again poly this node this node straight down this node over that node and close it again with this node. Deselect, we'll select this one and delete that. Grab the poly again, start there, click that node, come down to this node, cross over to that node and close it again with that node. Deselect, select this, and delete it. And then we can delete this last line. And there we have our flag. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stripes. Okay, so now I think I have too many lines on there. Yep, I've got two lines per stripe. We only need one 
otherwise it won't cut properly. This you pretty much have to do every time you convert a JPEG or a PNG file to an SVG. There's always too many lines converted and you have to delete half of them. That's why I recommend getting a software, paid software, like for uh, vinyl cutting. Get a software for vinyl cutting, that's what I use. And there's only one line. You don't have to go through all of these to delete the lines. So the stars didn't turn out so good over here on this one. Um, so what I am going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find stars, stars union, and then I'm going to convert that. And then I'm going to come back and insert it into here. I'm going to get rid of all these stars and get a better file. Okay, so I'll do that and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to get my union. SVGs, 50 star union, right here. Open that. Group them all. Click done. Then resize going to drag one side over done and I'm going to bring this up using the space not the space the arrow keys I use the arrow keys bring that up Just like that. And there we have our flag. So again, the settings 11 and a quarter high. The width is 21 inches. The stock thickness is three quarters of an inch. Most flags are made with that thickness. Um, even if you make the, uh, the 36 by uh, 19 flags use one and a half inch stripes at three quarter inch thickness. Uh, some people use the half inch, but I like to use the three quarter inch. So this usually stays the same for everything except for plywood. Plywood and MDF. So now that we have our flag design, we go to toolpaths, select all the stars, go to vCarve, edit. The default is always the 1 8 inch end mill. So we need to change that. Click change tool, come down here. Softwood, Chipoco Softwood to V. We'll use the 90 degree V bit. You can use the 60 degree, all depends on your preference. I use the 90. Then over here, depth per pass, I like to go 0.225. The feed rate, 
95. Plunge rate, 65. Click OK. Toolpath, 90 degree V bit for the stars. OK. So that's going to take four minutes to cut those stars. Let's take a look at pine. It'll show us what it'll look like. See? Beautiful cut stars. Hide that. Now we will do the stripes. Select all the stripes. You select one, then you push down shift and click the other stripes while holding down shift. Then we come over here to contour, edit the tool, change the tool. Now you can use the 1 8 inch uh, end mill for this, but it'll take you longer. Go to soft end mills, 201 end mill, quarter inch, select that. Depth per pass, I like to do 0.11. Feed rate, 100. You can be aggressive with this to make this flag. Uh, plunge rate, 75. OK. Depth per, the depth of the stripes is up to you. I go 0.1 if I am going to use resin, if I'm going to put a blue line, green line, yellow line, red line in here. Otherwise I just keep it at 0 .08. 0 .05 is even, looks really nice. And you pocket. Tool path. It's going to be stripes. Two fifty quarter inch. Click OK, and that's going to take seven minutes. Show simulation, and that's your flag. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed this first one. This design, in the future videos, I will use this design a lot and put lots of different logos in the Union and here on the stripes. Um, yeah. So that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, come back again. Hopefully every week I'll have a new video for you. And, and yeah. That's it. Thanks.